Hi everyone, this is the third video to help with your D2L ePortfolio in English 101 and 102. Uh, so by this point you hopefully have uploaded artifacts uh, and you've started a collection and so here I have my collection and now what you need to do is make sure you have your final amount of artifacts, attach your reflection, uh, your reflective essay and then do the final submission. Okay, so Let's first talk about uh, checking that you have all the artifacts. So go, go into your portfolio, click on your collection, and just make sure all the artifacts that you expect to be there are there. They should be listed. Uh, a couple things to remember to look for. Make sure that the title of the artifact makes sense. It's easy. Think about this again from uh, your instructor's perspective, that it, it's something they can easily understand. Um, and then make sure that you have something in the, the, the description area. At minimal, you probably want to have something that lists either what keywords and or which uh, SLO, student learning objectives, the artifact is connected to. Uh, you might even want to click on the artifact and open file just to make sure it is what you think it is, that you didn't attach the wrong file. Okay, so back into, here we go, we're back into the collection. So, one, first, check and make sure you have all your artifacts and your artifacts are well labeled and, and all that stuff. Two, you now need to add your final, finalized, hopefully you've peer workshopped it, uh, reflection essay. There are two ways you can add the reflection essay. One, when you're in the collection mode, down here at the bottom, notice there is add reflection uh, and you can copy and paste your reflection into this box. Uh, notice it allow, it gives you a little bit of editing um, ability, uh, just as much editing ability as you could do in uh, a discussion board entry. If you add it in this way, you wanna make sure you add, reflect, if I can spell, reflection essay, title it well. Uh, I wish I had my ipsum lorem text. But, ah, I do, I do. Yay, there we go. Okay. So, there we go. Uh, I added. And so now there's a reflection essay. So if I come back out to ePortfolio, um, notice it added this reflection essay uh, option. But... Uh, it is now a part of my ePortfolio. So that's the first way you could add the reflection essay. Uh, if, say, you put it in there and you don't like how it's formatted, notice you can either edit it with the little pencil over here on the right, or you can delete it with the red X. So I'm going to delete the reflection essay. Say you spent time um, carefully uh, formatting your reflection essay and you have it in a Microsoft Word document or a Google Doc or um, a PDF, just come back out to ePortfolio and add it as a file. So you can either add a link to a Google Doc or you can upload a file. And again, just remember that uh, once you get it uploaded, this is the important part, folks. Once you get it uploaded, don't forget to retitle it. So, uh, might even want to put what course it is. So I've retitled it, and just because I've I've put this here, it doesn't mean I've um, the reflection essay is not necessarily. If I click into my collection here, it's not here. So I have to remember to go in and add my reflection essay. There we go, and it's added as an artifact. So save, close. Now here's the, notice the thing, if you attach your reflection essay, if it is the very last thing you do in your portfolio, it will be the very first thing in the list. So that's why I highly suggest that you either attach your re reflection essay last, so it's at the top of the list, or use the reflection function down here so it's a completely separate um, item and it's easy for your instructor to be able to tell what is the reflection essay in your portfolio. Okay, so at this point in the world, according to Shelley, my portfolio collection is complete. I have my reflection essay, I have my artifacts, I have the uh, descriptions of the artifacts. Now what I need to do is I need to go back into my course, 
and I need to do the final submission. So I'm going to come down here, due date 15, there's that final submission. Okay, so uh, this, you might be freaked out, but don't be, upload, nope, sorry, forget me, forget that, is it choose existing? There it is. Sorry about that. It's choose existing. So let's let's quickly. I'm in the final submission area. Instead of selecting upload, I select choose existing. And you'll notice over here on the left, ePortfolio is an option. And I'm able to select. I want to select my collection. I don't want to select the individual artifacts. I want to select the collection. And so I selected the collection. Chug, 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 D2L is transferring it over. Okay, I hit pause, it was taking a little while. Once D2L has transferred it over, it shows a little link and the title of, your, of the uh, portfolio. And then you can hit submit. What I want to quickly do is show you what this looks like from the instructor's perspective, so what you're turning in. So I am in the course from the instructor's perspective. Here we go. There's the final submit. There is what I just submitted from that student perspective. I'm going to click on it. And notice it takes me out to an open window and there is the ePortfolio collection, and there's the reflection at the top. And if I had had the reflection as the separate object down here, it would have been at the bottom. Again, either place will work. And there are all those artifacts, and the artifacts have their description. And as the instructor, I can click on one. So I'm going to click on one that's a screen capture. And there it pulls up the image. Oh, there we go. Open file gonna make me download it that's no fun but that is what the instructor sees when you submit your ePortfolio